Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're going to dig into the differences between two popular coolers, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition versus the Thermorite Phantom Spirit 120 SE. We've got our test bench right here, ready to put these coolers to the test and give you all the information you need to make the perfect choice for your setup. With its sleek black heatsink and vibrant RGB lighting, the Hyper 212 has been the go-to choice for many PC builders. This cooler incorporates a single tower with four heat pipes and a single 120 mm fan. The Phantom Spirit 120SE is a dual tower cooler that punches above its weight in terms of performance and affordability. With its two 120 mm fans, seven heat pipes, and a sleek black and metallic finish, this cooler not only keeps your system cool, but also looks great doing it. In regards to installation, the Hyper 212 can be difficult for beginners, while the Phantom Spirit is a breeze to install. But we know you're here to see how these two coolers perform, so let's dive into it. We've tested both coolers with the AMD 5800X CPU over idle, high, and overclocked temperatures, and have two sets of charts to show you. One that looks at performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks at performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts, normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the solid line, noise on the right represented by the dashed line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Phantom Spirit in blue materially outperforms the Hyper 212 in red. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the Phantom Spirit continues to outperform across the board. However, this comes at the cost of the Phantom Spirit being noticeably louder at the higher RPMs. And as we pump up the heat to overclock levels of 125 watts, we can see that the Phantom Spirit can handle the higher heat loads while the Hyper 212 would throttle the CPU. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have temperatures on the left, Noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, the Phantom Spirit continues to outperform the Hyper 2 and 2, and as we pump up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the Phantom Spirit widens its lead. And when we push the CPU to 125 watts, we can see that this trend continues. And if you're curious on how the Hyper 2 and 2 stacks up against another top budget cooler, the Peerless Assassin 120 SE, you should check out this video comparing these two coolers. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this content and found it valuable, I invite you to support us by giving us a thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button. Your support is appreciated.